Master Money Management with the 75-15-10 Rule, The Secret of the 1%. Ever wonder how the top 1% manage their money differently? It's not just about how much they make, but how they plan their money. Today, we'll reveal the secret weapon behind financial success, the 75-15-10 Rule. Forget about complicated spreadsheets and confusing jargon. This isn't about penny-pinching or living like a hermit. This simple rule will help you save, invest, and spend like the rich. It's all about understanding where your money should be going and how to make it work harder for you. Stay tuned as we break down this powerful strategy step by step, and by the end of this video, you'll be equipped to take control of your finances and build the wealthy future you deserve. All right, let's get right to it. The 75-15-10 rule is a simple yet powerful framework for managing your after-tax income. It's about allocating your money strategically to achieve specific financial goals. Here's the breakdown. You take your after-tax income and divide it into three buckets. 75% of your income goes towards your essential expenses. Think of this as your needs, rent or mortgage payments, groceries, utilities, transportation, and of course those essential Netflix subscriptions. We'll dive deeper into optimizing this category later on. The next 15% is where the magic really starts to happen. This chunk is dedicated to investing. We're talking about putting your money to work, building long-term wealth, and securing your financial future. This could be anything from index funds and real estate to starting your own business. Finally, the remaining 10% is allocated to savings. This is your emergency fund, your safety net for unexpected expenses, and your peace of mind. Now you might be wondering, why these specific percentages? Well, it's not just some arbitrary formula. This rule is rooted in the spending habits of the top 1%. They understand the importance of balancing living well today while building a secure and prosperous tomorrow. They prioritize investing, knowing that consistent contributions, even with modest income, can lead to significant wealth accumulation over time. And they never underestimate the importance of a solid savings cushion to weather any financial storm. Now you might have heard of other budgeting rules out there like the 50-30-20 rule. While those can be helpful starting points, the 75-15-10 rule is specifically designed for those who are serious about accelerating their wealth building journey. The 50-30-20 rule suggests allocating 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. While it emphasizes savings, it doesn't place as much emphasis on investing as the 75-15-10 rule does. And let's be real, in the world of finance, investing is the key to building real, lasting wealth. It's about putting your money to work, generating passive income, and achieving true financial freedom. The 75-15-10 rule recognizes this and prioritizes investing by allocating a significant portion of your income to it. By consistently investing 15% of your income, you're harnessing the power of compound growth, which essentially means your money is making more money for you over time. Now I know what you're thinking, 15% for investing? That seems like a lot, but trust me, it's more achievable than you might think. And in the next chapter, we'll dive into practical tips on how to make this rule work for your unique situation. Remember, it's not about sacrificing your current lifestyle, it's about making smart choices today to create a brighter, wealthier future. How to apply the 75-15-10 rule? All right, let's get practical. How do you actually implement this rule into your life? It all starts with understanding where your money is going right now. Grab your bank statements, budgeting apps, or that dusty old notebook you use to track expenses. The first step is to analyze your current spending habits. Categorize your expenses into needs and wants. Be honest with yourself. That daily latte? Probably a want. Rent and groceries? Definitely needs. Once you have a clear picture of your spending, look for areas where you can cut back without drastically impacting your lifestyle. Can you negotiate a better rate on your car insurance? Maybe try cooking at home a few more nights a week instead of ordering takeout. Remember, small changes can make a big difference over time. The goal here is to free up more cash flow to allocate towards investing and savings. Now, once you've identified areas to cut back, it's time to automate your savings and investments. This is crucial. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings and investment accounts each payday. Treat these transfers like non-negotiable expenses. By automating the process, you're less likely to spend the money elsewhere. And here's a pro tip. Start small if you need to. Even if you can only swing 5% towards investing at first, that's better than nothing. Gradually increase that percentage as you become more comfortable and find more ways to optimize your spending.
10 Ways to Manage Your Money Like the 1% Now that you understand the mechanics of the 75-15-10 rule, let's take it a step further and explore how the 1% truly leverage this strategy to build and maintain their wealth. Here are 10 key takeaways. 1. Diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, real estate, and even alternative investments like art or collectibles. This helps mitigate risk and maximize potential returns. 2. Invest in yourself. The wealthiest individuals prioritize continuous learning and self-improvement. Invest in your education, attend industry events, and never stop expanding your knowledge and skill set. 3. Live below your means. Even millionaires practice frugality. They drive reliable cars, live in modest homes, and avoid unnecessary lavish spending. Remember, it's not about deprivation, it's about being smart with your money. 4. Negotiate everything. From salaries to contracts to even your cable bill, don't be afraid to negotiate. The worst they can say is no. 5. Surround yourself with success. Network with like-minded individuals who inspire and challenge you. Attend industry events, join mastermind groups, and learn from the best. 6. Think long-term. Building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't get discouraged by short-term market fluctuations. Stay focused on your long-term goals and ride out the inevitable ups and downs. 7. Give back. The wealthiest individuals understand the importance of philanthropy. Find a cause you're passionate about and donate your time or money. 8. Seek professional advice. Don't be afraid to consult with financial advisors, tax professionals, and attorneys. They can provide valuable insights and help you navigate complex financial matters. 9. Automate your finances. Set up automatic bill payments, savings transfers, and investment contributions. This ensures you're consistently managing your finances and staying on track with your goals. 10. Track your progress. Regularly review your budget, investment portfolio, and net worth. This helps you identify areas for improvement and stay motivated on your financial journey. How the 75-15-10 Rule Transforms Your Financial Future Now let's talk about the bigger picture. How does consistently following the 75-15-10 rule impact your life in the long run? First and foremost, it creates a solid foundation for financial security. That 10% you consistently sock away into savings, that becomes your emergency fund, your safety net for unexpected life events. No more panicking when the car breaks down or you need a new roof, you've got this. But the real game changer is the 15% allocated to investing. This is where the magic of compound growth really kicks in. Over time, your money starts working for you, generating passive income and building wealth exponentially. Imagine this. You're not just relying on your 9-to-5 job to make ends meet. Your investments are generating passive income, covering some of your expenses, maybe even funding your dream vacation. That's the power of compound growth. And as your investments grow, so does your net worth. You're building a solid financial foundation for the future, for your retirement, for your children's education, for whatever goals you have. But it's not just about the numbers. The 75-15-10 rule also provides peace of mind, knowing that you have a solid financial plan in place, that you're consistently investing in your future, that you have a safety net in case of emergencies, that's priceless. It frees you up to focus on what truly matters, spending quality time with loved ones, pursuing your passions, and living a life of purpose and fulfillment. That's the true power of the 75-15-10 rule. It's not just about money, it's about creating a life of financial freedom and abundance. Start building your wealth today. So there you have it. The 75-15-10 rule, a simple yet powerful strategy used by the 1% to build and manage their wealth. Ready to start managing your money like the rich? Hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe for more insider tips on mastering your finances. I'm curious to hear from you guys. What are your biggest financial goals? Have you tried any other money management methods? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's learn from each other. And stay tuned because in our upcoming videos we'll be diving deeper into other effective money-saving tips, like the 70-10-10-10 rule, and uncovering more secrets of the wealthy. We'll explore advanced investment strategies, tax optimization techniques, and so much more. Don't miss out.